It's Maylin and today I have a new tutorial for you. The first of my Christmas tutorials. I was working on one like during Thanksgiving, but it did not work out. I'm just gonna put out there, I failed a little bit, but don't worry. On Valentine's Day it'll probably pop up again because I have faith in it. Okay? You're gonna see it one day, I promise. But the tutorial I have for you today, I have seen this skirt everywhere. I mean, who doesn't want a sequin skirt from the holidays? I know I really wanted one, but they were so expensive and I just couldn't bring myself to buy one. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make myself one. I'm sure you guys want to know how to make one, so... And I'm really excited to have this in my closet because I don't own anything sequins. I don't know, I'm just a matte kind of gal, but you know, this changed my mind. And I've already begun brainstorming my next video, just so you know, which may or may not be Hobbit related. Because the movie's coming out in two weeks and I'm so excited! I love Lord of the Rings! So if you guys have any cool ideas on something you want to see, whatever it may be, comment it down below so that I can start brainstorming some cool ideas for that video. So without further ado, let's get started on the skirt! Alrighty, so we are going to start off with a paper pattern that will be a quarter of your skirt. You want to start off by measuring your waist, taking that measurement and dividing it by four, and then you want to mark it at the top of your pattern. Now measure from your waist to your hip. For me, it's about seven inches. Next up is your hip measurement, and you want to divide that by four. Next, measure how long you want the skirt to be, starting at your waist. And finally, measure around your legs and divide it by four so that the skirt hugs your body. Connect the lines and make sure you do a curved line for the hip area and then just cut it out. You want to make sure that your fabric is stretchy so that it can easily slide over your hips without a zipper. You want to fold your fabric in half and make sure that the stretch is going horizontal and not vertical. And make sure that the straight right side of the pattern is against the folded part of the fabric. When you're cutting out your fabric, you want to leave a 1 inch seam allowance at the top to make room for an elastic waistband, and then the rest can have a half inch seam allowance. So because my sequin fabric is see-through, I'm using this gold stretch fabric to go behind it. And I am cutting it the same way as my sequin fabric. On the back of my fabric, I'm going to put the pattern on and then trace it with some tailor's chalk so that later on I know where to stitch it. I'm going to use them as guidelines. Then I'm going to layer the fabric just like this, making sure that the sequins are facing one another. I want to pin the side seams so that it doesn't move while I'm stitching. And for those of you that have a machine, you can stitch up the side seams, but for those of you that don't, I'm going to teach you how to hand sew the zigzag stitch. Don't be intimidated guys, you can do this! Begin by stitching in place three times to make sure it doesn't move. Go diagonal, grab a piece of fabric, go under and through, pull it, then go diagonal in the other direction and go under, grab a little bit of fabric and pull through. All of you beginners might find this stitch a bit intimidating, but I promise you it's so awesome because it stretches as the stretch fabric moves so that you won't rip your skirt and it's just, it's just so cool. For those of you that don't have a machine, we're going to make your lives easier by using some stretchable fabric glue for the waistband of the skirt. And you want to apply just a thin strip of glue, fold it up and pat it gently. Leave one side seam open to run a piece of elastic through that is the length of your waist. Then just overlap the ends and whip stitch it together. You can glue or stitch the side seam closed, but make sure that the seam allowance is all going in one direction. For the hem of the skirt, just follow the same steps as the waistband minus the elastic. And because we don't want the sequins ripping up our cute tights, we're going to cover it with some black stretch fabric. 
And there you have it, an awesome tailored skirt. And you can stop here, but why stop when you could have an awesome peplum? So if you want one of these, then keep on watching. Making a peplum is like making a mini circle skirt. So you want to fold your fabric in half and then fold it in half again. Follow this awesome diagram to figure out the measurements for your peplum. Using my tailor's chalk, I am marking my radius, which is 4.75, and I'm making a dotted line here, and then I'm going to connect the line. Next, I'm going to add half an inch of seam allowance. I want the length of my peplum to be about 6 inches, so from the center point to the hem, I'm going to mark it at 11 inches. And keep on marking until you get something like this, then cut it out along these lines right here. Then just unfold your fabric and keep on marking to act as guidelines. When you open it all up, it should look something like this. You want to follow the same steps for the sequin fabric, but leave half an inch seam allowance along the hem. And then for me, I'm stitching up the side seams because of the way I cut the fabric earlier. So don't mind that part. Hopefully yours is whole like my gold fabric. And I'm just layering the pieces on top of one another. And I'm pinning it together so that it doesn't move. With my pins, I'm going to mark the center front and the center back, and I'm doing this so that when I put on the peplum, it'll match up evenly. What you're seeing here is the waistband of the skirt, and I'm pulling it through, Going one inch from the edge of the skirt, I'm going to pin the peplum to the skirt, and I'm doing this by following the guideline of the chalk that I drew. So pin the entire peplum to the skirt, and when you're done, it should look like this. If you have some areas that are a bit longer than others and a little wonky, then you can just reposition the pin. No biggie. Much better. And now using a zigzag stitch, you want to stitch along the pins. And now we're going to make a quick and sweet looking hem. And we're going to do this with some Fabrifix glue. You want to apply a thin strip along the border and just fold your fabric up and pat it into place and you are finished. This dress is so stylish and perfect for the holidays. You could even make it in other colors like black or rose gold. That would look really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I know I enjoyed making it and I cannot wait to wear this skirt out somewhere. I'm so excited. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to me so you can get all the updates on what I'm doing. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.